guys, welcome to Weekend Fishing. We're on the floor, yay. Great. So next week I will be discussing the autumn winter fashion week that just occurred, but this week I thought I would answer one of your brilliant questions from the comment section. Clementina asks, can you do a video on fashionable and appropriate outfits to die in? Thanks. You guys thought you could hide that comment by marking it as spam a whole bunch of times, but Joe sees everything in the comment section. Joe sees it all. Joe's crazy. So you guys should know by now, I don't really pick the normal topics to talk about. So I thought, yeah, let's give this one a go, but maybe not talk so much about clothes to die in, but maybe clothes to be in after you're dead. Now death is a really ooky subject, but as Benjamin Franklin once said, there are two unavoidable things in life, taxes and death. And I might even say there's a third thing, and that is being disappointed at an M. Night Shyamalan movie, because I feel like that's something we've all been through. When we say this is the outfit that I want to be buried in, I think what we're really saying is this is an outfit that makes me feel most like myself, and this outfit represents me in some sort of way, and I think that is really the heart of the situation. Now, as weird as it may be and as unsurprised as you may be, I have researched this before in the past, and there was actually a project out a while ago called Last Outfit, where some photographers took photographs of people in the outfits they wanted to be their last outfit. But of course, they took the pictures while the people were still alive, and I believe you can go to lifebeforedeath.com, and if you click on last outfit, you can see all of those pictures. One guy wanted to be buried in a tailor-made clown doctor costume so that he could cheer people up whether he goes to heaven or to hell. I have a feeling all clowns go to hell. At least, I'm pretty sure all clowns deserve to go to hell. Another guy said he wanted to be buried with a toilet seat around his neck to remind people of the benefits of good sanitation. That sounds really sanitary to me. And one of the girls said she wanted to be buried in a mermaid costume because she wanted to be reincarnated as a mermaid. Good luck with that. And of course there were some more normal ones where people just wanted to be buried in a favorite outfit or a comfortable outfit or with an item like a guitar or a camera that had special meaning to them. And one guy said that he wants to just go naked because he feels that that is his true nature. And I would probably say that's the most practical way, but that's not necessarily what us as humans would choose. Now as much as I've researched this topic, you would think that I have my outfit picked out, but I actually don't. I just kind of figured I probably will not care when the time comes. And also, I want to be cremated, and I just never considered it. However, for the morbid purposes of this video, I have chosen my outfit, and ta-da, I'm wearing it. Bam! I got my Pokemon cap, I've got my favorite gray, heathered American Apparel oversized cardigan, I got my super casual, super comfy, dark blue skinny jeans, and finally, I have these amazing Jeffrey Campbell boots that I paid a pretty penny for, and I have not worn them near enough in this lifetime, and I know that my soul will not be at rest until I have justified this purchase, so this is more to prevent me from not becoming a ghost. And to top it all off, I would like the whole outfit to be paired with this gorgeous pair of bedazzled sunglasses. So this week, as you're probably guessing, the question I have for you guys is a little bit morbid. This week I want you to tell me about your life after death outfit and what you think it says about you. You can let me know in the comment section. And as usual, you can leave questions for future videos in the comment section or send me a message at cupofjoeshow.com. I will see you guys Monday. As an alternative, I would not mind being dressed in Lara Croft's signature outfit, complete with the pistols and the booty shorts and the boots. And in case you need to know, the wigs are in my closet. I'm prepared for this.